Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lisa and I produce beauty related content here on YouTube. On Fridays, however, I do a Feel Good Fridays series, which is all about health, fitness, nutrition, just overall um, topics that, to make your body feel good inside and out. Today's video um, is gonna be five protein bars that I love. Um, I shared last week some uh, healthy breakfast and lunch options, and I thought it would be a good follow-up to show kind of what I eat in between breakfast, lunch, lunch and dinner. Um, for me, I find that my body responds best when I eat um, like five, maybe six times a day, like small meals. So that includes, um, you know, some pretty frequent snacking in between meals. Uh, I find that if I allow myself to get too hungry, then it just never, um, I just go down the wrong direction. You know, I, I usually reach for things that aren't healthy or I eat more than I should just because I'm hungry. So I know that some people believe in kind of fasting throughout the day and only having like one or two large meals and that works well for them. Uh, for me, that doesn't work well for me. I really have to eat frequently. So I have kind of really lived off of protein bars for the last several years. They're quick uh, to grab. You know, it doesn't take any preparation. It's just, you know, grab it and throw it in your bag. I almost always have a protein bar in my purse. Um, so I just thought I would share with you some bars that I enjoy. So the first bar is a bar that I recently discovered. It's by the brand Epic, and they basically are like um, meat. I mean, it's like beet. It's not. It's not quite jerky. So it's not as dehydrated or tough as jerky is, but it's basically a, a meat protein bar. And they come in different flavors. I have chicken sriracha, which I have yet to try. I have not tried this one. Then I have a bison uh, uncured bacon and cranberry, which I think I've had, and I really did like this flavor a lot. Um, and then I also have the chicken sesame barbecue seasoned, which I have not had. I haven't had any of the chicken. I've had some, a few of the bison flavors, but I picked this up really not knowing what to expect. And I was really surprised to really like it because I typically don't, I don't, I'm not a um, vegetarian. I do eat meat, but I usually don't eat meat like protein bars like this, but I actually really enjoyed it. And the calorie content, nutritional content is actually really good. So the first one that I had, I want to say it had like 80 calories. I remember looking down at it thinking, oh my gosh, that only had 80 calories because it was so satisfying but these all have different so I think it depends on well it does depend on the different protein that you get whether it's bison I think they have a lamb they have a beef they have a chicken um, they're all going to be different calories but just to give you an idea this is the lowest calorie one here and it's the chicken sriracha it has a hundred calories uh, it has zero grams of sugar it has one carb so these are all really like low carb high protein options uh, and the protein content is 15 grams. So this is a very, very satisfying protein bar with little calorie um, and little carbs. Uh, sodium is 290 milligrams, so not super low sodium, but um, you know, not not a ridiculous amount of sodium either. I think that these are going to have more sodium probably than the other bars, but um, yeah, I really like these and you know, they don't have to remain cold. You can just keep them in your purse and you know, snack on them throughout the day because it is a lower calorie. I will eat the whole bar. Some of the bars I have are higher calories. So I'll try and, ha and break them in half for a snack depending on how hungry I am. But this one would be one that I would enjoy the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like these bars a lot. If you have these available near you, I would give them a try. If you like beef jerky, then you'll probably like um, these as well. They do have a beef jerky too. I should say that the first product that I tried from Epic was a bag of their beef jerky and I remember like eating the whole bag in one sitting because it was so good. Okay, so the next bar is a bar that I've been eating for years. I love it. It's kind of like a treat for me. I'll enjoy this as a snack and then I'll also enjoy it as a dessert like late at night if I'm hungry and I want something <sighs> Okay, so I have this big dry erase board right in front of me where I kind of keep notes so that I don't forget when I'm doing videos. And I just saw my husband draw drew a funny picture on it. Um, anyway, okay, so these are Power Crunch bars and I have been eating these for years. I think when I first started getting into nutrition and, and healthy eating and, and all of that, I discovered these and I love them. They're so tasty. My favorite flavors are the, uh, this one here, the peanut butter cream and then the ras no, wild berry cream. These are my two favorite, but they come in like chocolate mint or like a chocolate peanut butter. They're all really good. They remind me of sugar wafers, uh, but they do remind me of a dessert. So I will have these, like I said, as a mid morning snack or if I if it's like 9 30 and I'm I've eaten dinner but I'm like craving something sweet I'll eat this it is does have 200 calories so it's not like it's a super low calorie option but it's better than going into the pantry and going down that like you know sugary cereal carby you know 
goldfish. It's just like if I go that direction, I'll just keep going and going and going where this will satisfy me. I'll just have this one bar and that'll be it. Uh, so the nutritional content on this is 200 calories. Uh, it has 12 grams of fat. It has 120 milligrams of sodium, so quite a bit less than the Epic bars. Uh, it has 5 grams of sugar, 10 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of protein. So it is pretty satisfying. Um, it does have 200 calories, so this is kind of on the higher end for a snack for me, but if I'm hungry, then I'm gonna eat it. You know, I don't deprive myself. If I feel hungry and I feel like I need the whole bar, I'm gonna eat the whole bar. But if I'm not really that hungry, but I know I need something to hold me over because I'm not gonna eat for another two or so hours, then I'll half this. I'll take half of this bar and save the half uh, later. But, you know, I don't really deprive myself because I know that if I do, it's just gonna catch up to me. You know. If if, it's, if, if I deprive myself now, then later I'm going to um, compensate and I'm going to overeat. So I really do try and stay ahead of my hunger. I really rarely try to allow myself to get like starving because I just make poor decisions. Some people have self-control. I am not one of those people. Okay, so the next bar is by Think Thin, and it's the high-protein bar. I have two flavors here. I have the creamy peanut butter. I always love peanut butter flavor bars, and then I have the brownie crunch. Uh, I've been enjoying these for a while now. These do have a higher calorie content. This one has um, 230 calories. It has 8 grams of fat, 280 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of protein, though. Um, and then it has 23 grams of carbs and zero sugar. So... I, to, this bar serves a specific purpose for me. This one almost replaces a meal for me. If I'm really hungry and it's lunchtime and I don't have any options and I'm not going to be able to eat for another couple of hours, then I will eat this kind of as lunch and then I'll eat, you know, a healthy meal, you know, a few hours after. Uh, these taste good. I'm not going to say they taste as good as the Power Crunch bars, but the, the purpose that they serve for me with 20 grams of protein, that's right, right? 20 grams of protein. These really satisfy me. So I will keep these around, again, almost as a meal replacement, uh, just because they are so satisfying and so filling. Uh, and then they have a relatively low amount of carbs. No, they don't. They have 23 grams of carbs. Scratch that. Um, so yeah, that's what these are. These, these I keep these around for when I, I, I should be eating a meal, but for whatever reason I can't and I need something that's going to hold me over for some length of time. These are really good bars for that. They also do have a lower calorie option, I think that are like 150 calories a bar. I don't have any with me, but I did see those at the grocery store, and those are good options too. They're not as satisfying as these, so those I would use more as a snack. This would be too much for a snack for me. Like in between breakfast and lunch, I wouldn't eat a whole one of these because they would be too much. But again, I could cut these in half, and then that would be a good um, half to hold me over until lunchtime. I'd get 10 grams of protein. I would get about 115 calories. So it would be a good little kind of hold me over snack. The next bar is by Quest Bar. And I really like this flavor. Um, oh no, I don't. I got the wrong one. Okay, I haven't tried this one. This is chocolate peanut butter. I haven't tried this one. I, I should like it because I like chocolate and peanut butter. But I usually get the cinnamon roll or the banana bread flavor in these and I really like them. It only has one gram of sugar. 20 grams of protein, uh, and then the calorie content is 170. So it's kind of right there in between, um, you know, a, a low calorie snack and like a higher calorie bar. I would eat this as a whole snack for me. Um, you know, I'm very active. I work out a lot. So I, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't try to deprive myself. So especially on days that I get a, that I do work out, this would be a great snack because this would hold me over. So it has seven grams of fat. It has uh, 23 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein. Yeah, so I really like these as snacks. I'll eat the whole bar. If it's more than 200 calories, so my kind of rule of thumb is if it's more than 200 calories, I'll usually half that or use it as a meal replacement. If it's less than that, then I would just eat the whole bar as a snack. Okay, and the last bar is really kind of a treat for me. I keep these in my pantry, one for my kids as a treat and then also for myself. So at night after I've had dinner and I'm craving something really sweet, I go for these. I don't, so these really I reach for as little treats. I don't really use these as snacks to hold me over if I'm hungry because the protein content is a, a lot less than the other bars that I've talked about. But I, I really like the kind bars and they have them in tons of different flavors. I have the blueberry pecan that I really like. I have the dark chocolate cherry cashew. And then I have the peanut butter dark chocolate, which is my absolute favorite. But these I keep in my pantry, one for my kids uh, and also two for myself, like as a sweet treat. So like last night after we had dinner, I was craving something sweet and I had one of these. They, um, 
they don't have a lot of protein, so they don't really satisfy hunger if you're hungry, or at least they don't for me. And they do have kind of a higher calorie content, but again, it's like, you know, I'm not so hung up on calorie counting as much as I used to be. I'm not really trying to lose a bunch of weight right now, so that's not something I'm concerned with. I'm more concerned with just putting like quality ingredients in my body. And to me, 200 calories from this is a lot better than 200 calories of ice cream. Because one, if I were to eat 200 calories of ice cream, that all that sugar is just gonna trigger something in my brain that's gonna tell me I wanna eat more and more and more, and I'm just gonna go down this down, downward spiral. I won't be satisfied with 200 calories of ice cream. If I have 200 calories in a nut bar like this, I'm gonna feel satisfied. I'm gonna be satisfied with just this. I'm not gonna feel the need to go, you know, stuff my face with more sugar. So that's kind of my um, thought process and my the way that I approach my diet these days. Again, if you're trying to lose weight though, I would probably stay away from. I would really, I would really count your calories. I would really watch how many calories you consume because. You know, weight loss is all about burning more than you are consuming. In that situation, every calorie counts. Um, but I do like these a lot. So just to give you an example from this peanut butter dark chocolate, this is 200 calories, 13 grams of fat. That's a lot of the nuts. Uh, it has 17 grams of carbs and 8 grams of protein. So again, it's not a really high protein bar. These are more of a healthier dessert option for me. And that wraps up. I do have a couple other bars that I like that I ran out of. I like the Bulletproof bar that I've talked about in previous videos before. I'll link that one down below. Um, I discovered that one about a year ago. A nutritionist talked to me about how I was not eating enough healthy fats in my diet. And so she turned me on to like Bulletproof coffee, which is adding grass-fed butter to your coffee. I should do a video on that. That would be a really great topic. Um, and then also she turned me on to these Bulletproof bars, which have a lot of really healthy uh, fats in them. So I'll link those down below. Those are really good too. They are really oily. When you open the bar, it's like really sticky. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a oily strawberry, not strawberry, an oily like sugar cookie. Uh, but they are very, very good. And it's a good way to get some healthy fats in into your diet. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave some comments down below for me on future topics that I can cover in this Feel Good Friday series. Uh, another thing I want to mention is that I will be going on vacation this month and so I'm hoping that I can film enough and edit enough to where I am able to upload three videos the week that we're gone and then be ready to have three videos when we come back. But if I don't and I only get two videos up that week or I miss a Feel Good Friday, uh, series that week, then just um, have a little patience with me. Everything will be back to normal in August. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.